Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss some great problem and it is from the famous contest of Olympiad that is International Math Olympiad 2023. This is problem number 2 of the year and it's related to geometry. We will do some constructions and uh, angle chasing to arrive at the solution. Some prerequisites like the inscribed angle theorem, power of point and uh, some familiarity with angle chasing will help you with the solution. Let's get started. So here is the problem statement. We are given an acute angle to triangle with AB less than AC. Let me paste the picture of it. to explain it in a better way so here is the picture so we have an acute angle triangle as shown and ab is less than ac so which we have incorporated in this diagram as well or we can equivalently use the fact that angle b is greater than angle c and omega is the circum circle which is also shown here and s is the midpoint of the arc bc that is containing a so that is also marked here and the perpendicular from a to bc intersects omega again at e so that is this point so this is the perpendicular all right now the line through d parallel to bc that is this line that is parallel to bc is constructed to intersect the line be at l so that is also depicted here and you denote the circum circle of triangle bdl by omega and let omega intersects capital omega at p which is not equal to b Now prove that the line tangent to omega at P meets BS meets BS at the intersection of angle bisector of angle BAC with BS. So this can be again rephrased as the tangent at P to omega. and the line segment bs and the internal angle bisector concur at a point so let's prove this in a different way first let us assume that x not is the intersection of angle bisector with the line segment bs then let's prove that px not is the tangent at p to omega so first let's observe few things since it's acute angle triangle there are no configuration issues so angle chasing can be done without any worry okay so we can proceed without any apprehension then let's find angle sbc so we are now interested in angle sbc so to find sbc construct sc as well and notice that since s is the midpoint of the arc the segment bs would be equal to the segment cs and angle bsc equals angle a so this would be 90 minus a by 2 and 90 minus a by 2 respectively because isosceles triangle bsc is isosceles and the vertex angle is a because bsc equals bsc so we get sbc is equal to 90 minus a by 2 which is also equal to angle scb all right so let's have that in mind and we will erase these construction for now we will use it later on whenever required so now the, since this is 90 minus a by 2 and this is 
we get angle bde angle bde equals a by 2 so or in other words angle ads is a by 2 because of vertically opposite angle so ads equals a by 2 so now if you take a closer look the angle bam is also a by 2 because am is the angle bisector and notice here everyone that angle bisector passes through the midpoint of the opposite arc BC. It's not the arc containing A of BC, it's the other arc or the opposite arc that is not containing the point A and M is the midpoint of it. This is just easily explained because this is A by 2 and this is A by 2. So BM equals CM. All right. Now, since this is A by 2, we can get some similar triangles, right? So, what are the similar triangles here? You could see that angle ADX0, which is A by 2, is equal to angle BAX0, which is also equal to A by 2. And angle DX0A is equal to angle a x naught b this is just common angle so we don't need to actually find that angle it's just common so we can clearly get that this triangle a x naught b would now be similar to triangle d x naught a so let's write that down triangle a x naught b would be similar to triangle d x naught a because two angles are equal so it's a a similarity all right now considering the side ratios one would get that a x naught by d x naught is equal to b x naught by a x naught so now rearranging the terms, one would get a x naught squared equals b x naught times d x naught. That is, the power of point x naught, the power of point x naught with respect to the circle omega is equal to a x naught square. Because b x naught into d x naught is the power of the point. So hence, this length, the length AX0, when squared gives the power of point X0. But we know that the tangent from the point X0 to the circle omega will also satisfy a similar property. Let's say the point of tangency from X0 to the circle omega be some K then x0 k square equals the power. So thus, we just have to prove that a x0 squared equals p x0 squared because proving it would prove that p is that point of contact from x0 to omega when the tangent is constructed. So we have now converted the two proof statement to just be ax0 squared equal to px0 squared or equivalently ax0 equal to px0. All right. So let's take some other perspective in this problem. So do some three points look collinear in this diagram? So think about it, but you can figure out that these three points are collinear just by inspection. You need not prove that. So, but now let's try to prove it. So if you consider angle LPB, I know it is equal to LDB. 
but ldb equals 90 minus a upon 2 because ld is parallel to bc and bd is the transversal that makes angle ldb 90 minus a by 2 because sbc is 90 minus a by 2 and hence lpb is also 90 minus a by 2 All right. Now join P to S. Let's find angle SPB. I know that angle SPB would be one eighty minus the angle SCB. But what is angle SCB? As we already found, it is ninety minus a by two. Hence, the angle SPB would be ninety plus a by two. And hence, angle LPS is one eighty degree. So we have the following: that points SP along collinear. Now we will be extending PD to intersect the circumcircle at F, and let the second intersection point of AD with the circle omega be L prime. So now let's take a new diagram to make more inferences. All right, here comes our next diagram. So I have deliberately made SPL collinear because we have already proved it. So it is as shown here, and as I mentioned, PD is extended to intersect the circumcircle of ABC at F, or the circle capital omega at F. And let it intersect A M at K. So these are the constructions and L prime. A D intersects the circle omega again at L prime other than D. All right. So let's try to figure out some angles now. First of all, notice that this entire angle is ninety minus A by two. So this we know, and Also notice that angle EBC equals EAC. Angle EBC equals angle EAC. But EAC is ninety minus C, so hence EBC is also ninety minus C. So let's just write it here. This is ninety minus C, and now notice that LD is perpendicular to. AD because AD is the altitude to BC and LD is also parallel to the base BC, so altitude AD is perpendicular to LD. So now this angle, this angle would be that is angle ABS, ABS would be. Just angle ABC minus angle SBC, but what is ABC? It is just B minus SBC would be ninety minus A by two, and hence we have B minus ninety plus A by two. But ninety can be written as A by two, B by two plus C by two, and you have a plus A by two again. So minus a by two and plus a by two cancels off, and you get just b minus c by two. Hence, angle ABS is b minus c by two. And let's call b minus c by two value as theta, because you will now understand how important or how crucial this factor is, this angle is. So let's say this angle is theta. so it is indispensable for this problem let us now figure out angle eam angle eam would be angle bam minus angle bae bam is a by 2 minus angle bae is 90 minus b again by a similar process By writing 90 as a by 2 plus b by 2 plus c by 2, you can see that a by 2 gets cancelled, and 
you just get b minus c by 2 which is theta again so e a m is theta all right let's now try to find angle b b l prime so how to find db l prime i know that this total angle is 90 plus c the angle lbc because it's a complement of or the supplement angle of 90 minus c but also we know that angle lb l prime is 90 degrees because ll prime is the diameter as ld l prime is already 90 so since this is 90 the angle that remains would just be c so this angle which remains apart from this 90 would be c because the total angle was 90 plus c so hence d b l prime is equal to angle d b c minus angle l prime b c but what is d b c d b c is s b c which is 90 minus a by 2 and then minus l prime b c would be c let's simplify this again and you get b by 2 plus c by 2 minus c so now this gives us again b minus c by 2 so see how beautiful this is all these angles are becoming equal to theta so hence let's erase these and just write a theta here just write a theta here so now we can figure out some cyclic quadrilaterals so but before that i will also mention this angle l prime pd is also theta so let's use black color suppose if you join l prime and p this angle would also be theta because just b l prime dp all lie on the circle omega so by the inscribed angle theorem we get that angle as also theta so angle l prime pd is theta all right now we have all these four angles to be theta let's look at some cyclic quadrilaterals and let's derive some fun thing so you could see that first thing is that angle l prime b x not which is theta equals l prime a x not which is also theta so we conclude that l prime b a x not is cyclic because the converse of inscribed angle theorem states that if the angles subtended are equal then the all points on the boundary lie on a circle so upon this observation construct this circum circle as shown so it will look like this a x not l prime and b now notice that a b x not which is theta equals x not b l prime which is also theta so thus the chords a x not equals x not l prime so let's take a note of that since the chords subtend equal angles at the circumference they must measure the same so a x not equals l prime x not all right now let's observe some other cyclic quadrilateral we do have a p l prime k because angle l prime p k equals angle l prime a k so again by the converse of inscribed angle theorem these points lie on a circle so l prime k a p is cyclic all right so now let's make one other observation 
let's use a new diagram as this is getting messier here all right so our cyclic coordinates were l prime b a x not so let's write that down l prime b a x not and then l prime k a p l prime k a p so these are cyclic and what was our other deduction it was that a x not equal to l prime x not so that is the second point a x not equal to l prime x not all right so now let's just take two of those equal angles we had proved that this is theta and also that angle a b s is theta so now first notice that angle l p l prime is 90 this is because l l prime is the diameter so that means angle s p l prime is 90 degrees angle s p l prime is 90 degrees as they are collinear all right now s p l prime is 90 since we had proved that a b s angle a b s is theta we also know that angle a b s is a p s because p lies on the same circle capital omega so a p s is also theta so let's construct a p s this is theta now think about the angle a p f what is a p f this total angle as you could see it will also be 90 because angle s p l prime was 90 and so this angle would be 90 minus theta because d p l prime is theta so hence 90 minus theta and theta adds up to 90 so the this implies that angle a p f or a p k let's assume a p k is 90 degrees so let me just erase this and just use that fact that angle apk is 90 degrees now since angle apk is 90 we get that ak is the diameter of the circle apl prime k which we proved to be concyclic already we proved that apl prime k lies on a circle already so now apk being 90 just entails that ak is the diameter ak is the diameter so now we are getting closer to the solution because we already have the fact that ax not is equal to l prime x not hence the perpendicular bisector of al prime passes through the point x not the reason is really simple because equidistant points must always lie on the perpendicular bisector of the segment so hence x not belong to the perpendicular bisector but since ak is the diameter what's the intersection of a diameter with a perpendicular bisector of a chord which is al prime so the al prime chord is perpendicularly bisected to intersect the diameter at x not so it means that x not is the center so it implies x not is the center of circle through l prime k ap and hence we get that x not a equals x not p thereby proving that px not squared equals 
x0 d times x0 b and hence px0 is the tangent so this is this is illustrated in the following diagram as you could see the points are concyclic and px0 would be the tangent so there are several approach to solve this problem and i hope you enjoyed this solution you can add your ideas in the chat box we will also provide this notes in the description and let's meet in the next video happy learning everyone bye